Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unwrenched 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to put the player into a spectator mode so that when they die, they can't interact with anything. They're not playing as their character, they are now spectating other players, maybe, or just the world. So, for example, Minecraft Hardcore mode, if you die, you end up in a spectator mode, or in other online games. So, that was single player example in another online game, maybe when you die, you start spectating other players. I have done a video where you actually spectate the player themselves which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. However, this video is just when the player can move around themselves, spectating. So let me hit play and show you what I actually mean. So I'm just gonna walk into this, the player's then gonna die. So they've just played an animation for dying, obviously this is them at dead. And we're now a different character entirely, simulating, or sp spectating, sorry, as just an entirely different camera. And obviously our player's there, and we're now spectating. And in this as well, I'm going to show you to press a different button. So my example one is then going to enable us to repossess this player. So we stop spectating and go back to this player. And we can obviously do that again as many times as you want. And you don't have to have that part in if you don't want to. But I'm going to show you how to add it in anyway, just in case. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we obviously want to create our pawn to actually spectate. So this is the pawn we're going to possess in order to be spectating. So if we right click, we can go to Blueprint class, and we're going to open up the all classes here, and we're going to search for spectator pawn. It's that simple, it is already all set up for us, we don't need to do anything for it, we just need to create it, press select, and that's it done. So I'm just going to name this spectator BP, like so. And we're going to open that up because we do want to put some code in here, but that's going to be later on. So I'm going to close that again. And now we're going to open up our character blueprint, which for me is the third person character. But for you, this could be third, first, or if you've named it. Now here, I've already got my damage code. So what happens is when they get damaged, it's going to take that away from the health. And if it gets to zero, this here off of true of this branch is going to be my death code. So that's where the player dies. So that's obviously where I'm going to be doing this code now so that they spectate when they're dead. I do have different videos going over how to create up this basic system here as well of how to actually create a damaging system. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. But what we want to do is off of true of the branch, so again, when they're dead, we want to hold down D, left click to get a delay. And the duration of this, I'm gonna to set to four seconds. Now you don't need a delay and you don't need to set to four seconds. I'm just doing this so there is a bit of a delay between when they die and when they possess the spectator. So between when they're dead and when they start spectating, that's why I'm doing this. You can obviously maybe set this up on a button press instead. So when they die, a menu screen comes up and it can say either retry, go back to the main menu or spectate. And you just do this code off of pressing the button for spectate instead. Or you can obviously just have it go straight in without the delay. It's really up to you to customize for how you want. But after the delay, what we're gonna do is we're going to spawn an actor from class. The class is going to be our spectator pawn, which we just created, which for me is spectator BP. Now you see there is spectator pawn on there as well. However, we've created our own one because again, we want to change it a little bit and it obviously then allows a lot more customization for you as well. Spawn transform is just going to be get act transform. So it's spawning it in the current position and rotation and place the player is in when they died. You can obviously set this up to be somewhere completely different if you want. For example, in Phasmophobia, you play as your own character there and that spawns you in a different room and then takes you back. So you can obviously choose where you want to spawn them but for me, I'm just gonna do the player's current location. Underneath this, we're gonna right click and get player controller. Out of the player controller, what we're going to do is get a possess node, connecting that into there, and the return value is going to be the in pawn of the possess. So the spectator that we've just spawned in is now going to be possessed by the player, so the player is playing as the spectator. What we're gonna do now is compile, save this, go to our spectator BP, go to the event graph, uh, delete these three nodes, but what we're going to do first is create a variable OG player. Now you can obviously name this whatever you want, but essentially what this means is this is the player that you were playing as before you started spectating. So before you were the spectator, you were this player here in this variable, so name that whatever makes more sense for you, but OG, original player, makes sense for me. And I'm going to change that variable to be a character object reference, like so. And we're going to compile, save that, and go back to our third person character. We're going to drag out the return value once again of the spawn actor. And now we're going to set the OG player. What we want to set this to is the current player that we are, so we can just get a reference to self. So again, the spectator now knows which player we were spectating as, we were playing as, sorry, before we started spectating. And the reason I'm doing that is because again, I want to make it so once you can stop spectating and start playing again. 
obviously you don't need to do that if you don't want and if you don't want to then the code's done you only need these four nodes here but I'm going to continue on so I'm going to go back to my spectator and the button I want to press to go back to playing is just going to be the one keyboard event you I mean you can obviously set this to what you want but that's perfect for me and what we're going to do is right click get player controller same thing we did before and get the possess node but now instead of possessing the spectator we're possessing the player again and the in pawn is just going to be the OG player variable that we just created a second ago and that is all we need to do there compile and save that and again that's all we need so now we're going to go back to the third person character and underneath all this we're going to right click and get event possessed and so this is going to fire off whenever we now possess this character so when we repossess them we start playing again this will fire off and so I basically just want to reset my health back to 20 obviously set this to your maximum health or the health which you want to set it as but for me 20 is going to be good because that's what my default value is just for the purpose of this tutorial and that also then helps with my animations because my death animation is based on the player's health so I want to reset that to fix the animation. Obviously anything you want to do to reset for when the player becomes back alive do that off of this code here because essentially what this does is it kills the player but respawning them will be off of this event here instead of respawning the actual player's character blueprint. So let's compile, save, close this, hit play and test this out. So again I'm just going to die by walking into this twice, play the death animation, obviously fall over, four seconds later we're going to go into the spectator mode in which we can fly around using this pawn and obviously look at our dead player on the floor like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can have the player die so let's kill them here. Four seconds after they've died or however long you set it up for we're going to possess a spectator pawn so we can fly around out like this flying around as a spectator instead of our actual player and we can obviously look around the entire map and I can also repossess my player as you saw there by pressing 1 and we can do this again if we to die have the player die go into a spectator like this working perfectly again can be used in anything you want in so many different game modes I can see this working really well and again repossess like that so thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one